Then we're here once again with, after watching what has been another evening of exciting tennis. We saw Lynchy, Dwayne Lynch calling out Curtis Jones as an air class player. These guys have a history where the very last time they would have played, Lynch got the better of Curtis. Curtis, I believe that that would probably give you that extra warning to be here tonight to, to show Barbados Curtis, the air class player, is back. Yes, <laughs> I really wanted to come out and the game that he beat me with, also, it was bothering me for a little bit. I thought myself I should have done better. So I came up with a plan specifically for that game, but he ended up switching about half in the first game, so there wasn't much of the game to play after that. Okay, so so you you found your way because watching the game, I maybe mean, had the two juice games at the beginning. Um, tell us a bit about what happened in those early games, that those games were as close as they were. I underestimated Lynchy a bit. I honestly wanted to just blast him out, so I ended up rushing the game a lot. Um, the second game I tried slowing it down, but then I went too slow, and that's his comfort point. Okay. So then he got most of the advantage. But I still struggle home the second game. The third game, no. When the ball burst, you know, that offset me. I tried my best to keep on the ball, but it was just flighty, just keep on going up the racket hand. So eventually, when he kept on, because I was calling my backhand, he kept on in the backhand, and eventually he gained me a rhythm. So by the fourth game now, I cut the rhythm, and I started just to move the ball about. It spoiled a little bit still, but I get home more, no, I, more than I, I must say that you were really moving around the court. Mm -hmm. um, actually watching his, his approach to you, he was going to your backhand quite a bit. Um, but a couple times that he did go to your four, you really struck the ball really well. And in that fourth game, um, even more so, you were moving, position yourself for that uh, for that forearm shot and you executed it well. Um, are you working on your game and any special thing you're doing of late um, yeah. to prepare for these games? Yes. Well, the last two weeks I haven't been doing much, but I hurt my back uh, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. But, so I wasn't playing as much. But then I started like, but before that I was um, doing some jogging, some skipping, light stuff at first, and then I tried to move on, play more games, and really focus on the forearm attack ball. I know a lot of people come to Monday court and forearm. So I try to work on that a lot in my, in my practice. So who, who, who are you working out with and where are you getting your games of late, seeing that we're in this COVID environment? It seemed to be getting a bit of ease, but, yeah. but, but, but how, how, where are you getting your training in at this point in time? Well, I started out in Belfield. I went to Rubis, I went to Belfield, and I come out here for these games. Actually, I like some more people to call me out, because I really enjoy these games. Um, but moving around, playing different people. I find that when you play one person too much, you kind of get steel in that style. So I try to play as much different styles as I can. Like Talk about the calling out. What, mm -hmm. and you, you, you said it uh, a bit to some degree. Mm -hmm. I want to elaborate. How valuable do you think these call outs are at this stage for raw tennis? So uh, right now, there's not too much really going on. But this sort of setting, it reminds you of tournament tennis. So you get to like focus, see where the mistakes you're making, and try to correct them for the next time. So it's a good thing that Pointy started actually, and we're congratulating on that. Um, but it really it helping me. I don't know about your other guys, but it's helping me to, to see where what mistakes I'm making and try to correct them for next time. Okay, so we saw Pointy doing calling out, and there we have Dwayne Lynch definitely play and calling you out. Um, would you see yourself maybe want to step up to the play and call someone else out? So that, who knows, we can probably get this call out going to another level at your class player like you. I'm quite sure that you will smartly hand pick who you would like to see at the arena. Mr. Venom, do you hear me? I'm calling you out. Come to Bush Hall any day next week and I'll be here to play you. Three best of five. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it yourself. The call out is for Venom. Um, I want to congratulate you again again well up here tonight. And I'm sure that when the word get out there that you are calling out Venom, the, the, the spectators probably would be one that they were certainly look forward to. And I myself would love to be here to witness it. So I will wish you all the best. Should that one come off, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, a message to, to Venom. He's being called out here tonight. By, he's right over he's there. He's called out over here there. By, by Curtis Jones. <laughs> so that,
So the call-outs continue here in Road Tennis until bigger and better things come. Curtis, yeah. again, thank you very much and all the very best for your game. All right, go ahead. Well, if anybody else is interested in calling me out, please do. Um, I will play anybody. I call you just now, Mark. I call you just now. Yes, Nick. I, I won't play you, Bobby. I'll play years. <laughs> okay, so, so thanks again and all the best to you in your future games. Yeah, thanks, fellas. Okay, all right.